hot old nightmares. How's it going guys? Token vaping. So as you can tell, today's juicy review is another flavor and an ongoing line that I've been working on. Um, as you all know, if you've been watching my videos, I've been trying to uh, cut down the amount of time each video is to make them a little bit easier to watch so that they're not so stretched out. Um, however, the downside to that or the con is basically that if I'm able to get multiple flavors from various companies and they allow me that privilege and honor, that it does take me a bit longer to get through the entire lineup as I try to do a rotation so that everybody gets a fair turn and I don't focus specifically on one company too long at a time because I feel that would take a lot longer than just going through a rotational circle. So just bear with me and I will get through them as best I can and you know we'll just we'll get through this together. So the line that I'm doing the review for today is Clown Premium Liquids. Now, you may not know it by this, but once you hear the flavors and you see the label, trust me, I promise you, you have seen this brand. Um, they are all over social media. Um, they're on Instagram. They're on Facebook. They do have a website. It is clownliquids.com. However, it basically is just a, um, a setup site. Uh, they have two options on there, a shop now and for wholesale if you own a shop or um, things like that. But if you click on shop now, it shoots you over to another website, baddistribution.com, which basically they are the distribution company for a bunch of really rock solid lineups. Um, a lot of them, they're based in New York, so it's an East Coast based uh, distribution company. But a lot of the, a lot of the lines that they that they distribute out for and that they have dealings with are some top-notch lines. Um, they may not have the blow-up social media that some other lines do that, you know, have the bigger names, but trust me, they are far from um, being unknown. Uh, they definitely have their own um, they have their own take on premium liquid lines and things like that. And if you check out that site, and I'll put that link in the comment box, you will be impressed with who they carry. Like I said, they're not they are popular by by any uh, shape of the word because, you know, like I said, they're based in New York. I'm located on the West Coast, and I've heard of most of the lines that they distribute out. So I'm just saying that they may not have the plethora of media um, outlets that, you know, some of the bigger names do, but that by no means makes them any less uh, premium quality. In fact, I, I like some of these lines better than some of the, the more well-known advertised lines so with that uh, it is uh, clown liquids and the flavor I'm doing today is twisty and this is their label for this one they have got some amazing artwork for these these literally are some of the most disturbing um, clown pictures that you'll see which is why they're not meant for kids obviously but they are just really, really cool. They're really well done. I'm just, I'm a fan of the artwork regardless of the flavor or anything like that. But this is Twisty, and that is the artwork for that one. Name, sorry, it does use a bit of uh, a foil type label, so it does have a very reflective nature to it. Uh, name of the line, um, there is the name of the flavor. It does say premium liquids. It is a three as it shows right there and it says made in New York and then it has the warning and ingredient labeling as well and it is safety sealed also so this is a first vape first review now on the baddistribution.com website for this it is offered in a 0, a 3, a 6 and a 12 so while their focus isn't on how much nicotine you can get out of the vape they do offer a bit higher than some other lines do just to accommodate more vapors as a whole so that you don't feel like they're not including you know people that do look for a little bit higher nicotine so definitely check them out it is a 30 ml bottle and the flavor profile for this is a raspberry concoction contorted into a fresh yogurt now I'll tell you right off the bat before I even open this I'm not a fan of raspberry flavors so I'll be interested to see how this tastes especially with the yogurt in there so if it smooths it out it definitely will make a difference but if I'm, I'm not a huge candy vapor so this is definitely going to be interesting but it is going on a fresh wick as always and I use my Texas Tough Cotton um, I just I really like it you know it's just I've tried other cotton kinds of cotton out there now obviously I haven't tried everything that's out there but out of everything that I've tried this one has been the one that has worked best for me it's just really durable holds up well and I like the fact that it doesn't have a very strong cottony taste from the first vape mid vape end vape anything like that so I'll put the link for that in the comment box as well 
So, as you saw, I just took off the safety seal, and this is twisty, and oh yeah, um, that's definitely a candy smell, definitely raspberry. Now, obviously, the, the smell of the vape flavors are definitely going to be stronger than the actual vape, um, always is, and that's just because of the, the flavoring and stuff that's used in the, the liquids, but it most definitely is a raspberry. I mean, you cannot mistake it. It is not mild, but it is not a burn your nostrils uh, strength of flavor. So you definitely know what it is you're going to be vaping, but I'm hoping, like I said, that the yogurt that's in this as well basically takes over and smooths it out just a bit, or at least just enough so that it's vapable for me. Um, I've just, I've never been a huge candy person. I don't eat it regularly, so it's just a flavor that I just never took to, just I guess because of how sweet some of these can be. And a lot of that's going to be what's in them. Now, I do know um, Clown Liquids does take pride in their in their liquid lines, and they don't use a whole lot of extra crap in there that doesn't need to be in there. They don't try to, you know, mess it up with a bunch of artificial stuff. They try to make it as premium quality as possible by using all locally sourced natural ingredients, things like that. So hopefully we will check this out and see where we go from here. And the moment of truth. I am vaping at 75 watts and this is Twisty from Clown Liquids. the initial vape out of that so I'm gonna go ahead and juice up a slight bit more and by now with the pre-burn plus a couple of pre-hits on it the juice should flow pretty freely through the cotton now so I should be getting a full head-on base of flavor now I will say even off the first couple of vape hits right off the bat there was no throat hit whatsoever and that's actually kind of impressive because even on brand new cotton sometimes you get a little bit of a tingle just as the juice is working through it absolutely none on this now I will find out for sure on the mix ratio of that but if you can see the air bubble that's in there by the fluidness of it I'm gonna put this at about a 70 30 75 25 roughly give or take I will find out for sure and put that in the comment box if needed but that's about where I'm gonna place this but it is truly truly really smooth um, like I said no throat hit off the initial vape which is definitely um, impressive in itself Okay, flavor-wise, now, definitely raspberry. I mean, straight up, that is absolutely what it is. However, with the yogurt mixed into this, it does actually smooth this out a lot more than I was expecting. Definitely more than what the inhale off an open bottle gives you. Because the, the raspberry that you smell is definitely a lot more potent than it actually, come, that, than actually comes out in the vape. And I will att uh, attribute that to the yogurt base on this um, to help smooth it out and help lighten it. Now it definitely is a lighter vape and it is a lot, like I said, it's a lot lighter, a lot smoother than I was expecting. I, I really was expecting a really hard hit of raspberry flavoring, not so in this, so I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, as an all-day vape, probably not my choice because there's only so much of it I could probably handle as far as the raspberry flavor just in general and it probably would get to me um, after a while. But if you are looking for a sweeter candy type flavor without going too strong on a punch of a flavor, this most definitely will accommodate that. It is nicely done. It is, uh, it is very vapable, 
vapable. Like I said, it is light and it is it does have a nice smoothness to this. So definitely check them out. Clown Liquids, thank you so much for the opportunity to try out your line. I was thoroughly impressed with this one, as I was with the other flavors that I've tried so far. Definitely look forward to the rest of the line. Definitely check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Clownliquids.com will shoot you over to baddistribution.com for purchase. I will put both those links in the comment box. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I can do to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you, that's all I want to do. So doesn't matter what it is DM me message me um, email me just let me know if there's a specific uh, video that you're looking for a question that you have that I can try to answer best of my ability but anything that I can do to help you out I, I absolutely want to do so definitely let me know and until next time no matter what always try to remember love yourself vape on vape strong have a good night